Welcome back to the Pig Trail Show. It is now time for your recruiting report with Richard Davenport. He's not joining us from our KRK studios this week because he is on the road at the Memphis Satellite Camp in Memphis, Tennessee. Richard, how you doing? Doing well, doing well. Well, the big story obviously coming out yesterday is that tight end Luke Ford decommitting to Arkansas. What do you know about this situation? I think it's a case where he visited Illinois and he visited Arkansas, and he's he's wanting to make some other visits, and that was uh, that was the only route that he he could take really was decommit and take the other visits, and ultimately come up with a final decision. And uh, he's still obviously considering Arkansas, but he plans to visit Georgia, Alabama, and LSU. That's before the Nike opening, which starts in, uh, June 28th and goes to July 4th. After that, he plans to visit Florida and. Uh, Ohio State, and uh, who knows after that, but those are the schools that he's he's wanting to look at, and yeah, I, it's it's very rare. Or it, I, I, well, honestly, I can't think of a time when a, a young man is decommitted from a school, especially Arkansas, and is uh, recommitted. But you know, the, the possibility exists, and uh, I think uh, I think that, that that's uh, Arkansas is a uh, definitely. Uh, you know, in, in Luke's mind, and, and I know he Luke really likes Arkansas. He just uh, wants to explore a little bit. Yeah, well, you can't really blame him. We're going to see how that all pans out. Well, at the Memphis uh, satellite camp that you're at right now, there are two guys that stand out, Noah Gatlin and Nigel Brandon, both of these guys, offensive tackles. Yeah, Nigel has, uh, has been to Arkansas several times. He plans to visit Arkansas for the uh, trench, uh, trench Hog Camp, uh, the Lyman Camp, June the 18th. He actually committed to uh, Memphis uh, during the camp, uh, and uh, but I, I assume that everything's still on go for for uh, camping at Arkansas. But he's he's just a massive offensive lineman, six five. He weighed three hundred fifty three pounds today, but he moves so well that you understand why Arkansas likes him. And Noah Gatlin is from Jonesboro. He's got numerous offers. He's planning to camp at Arkansas. He's another guy that that is here and. Uh, great size, about six 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 seven, about three oh five. Definitely has that length and that size that you're looking for in a, at the offensive tackle position. Next up on the list, Thurman Gathers. He has an offer from Arkansas. He is a defensive end out of Kennesaw, Georgia. And he visited Arkansas Tuesday and Wednesday uh, uh, earlier this week and had a great time. I think Arkansas is sitting really in a really good spot with him. He plans to make his decision on July the fourth. I think if he had to make a decision right now. It'd be uh, it'd be the Razorbacks, and you just hope that that's the, that's the same uh, come July the fourth. Well, Noah Gatlin, an offensive lineman from Jonesboro, so is Darius Thomas. What stands out about him? Uh, he's extremely athletic. Saw him yesterday. Six six three zero eight. He's a 2019 kid who's got uh, numerous offers. Obviously, Arkansas is one of them. LSU, Georgia. Uh, the list just goes on and on. But he, he's probably one of the more athletic. Uh, kids in the country at his position regardless of class he ran a five uh five point oh six forty yard dash yesterday at a combine and that just tells you what kind of athleticism he has all right and quickly richard we've got reggie perry he is tearing it up this summer on the basketball court he is a commit to the class of 2018 for arkansas and he's also tearing it up at the euro adidas euro camp in italy this uh, uh over the last few days he, he, he's second in and scoring and first and rebounding uh, uh, of the whole camp. So he's doing what he's done all spring and uh, playing very well. Well, you know that Mike Anderson is loving that. Thanks so much, Richard, for calling in. Appreciate talking to you every week. Now, baseball season is over, but coming up, we have got our top 10 games of the year. You're going to stick around for that after this.